All right, what's happening, everybody? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today, it's Planes and Locomotives Part 3, but we are doing this one a bit differently. So, we are seeing the K-Class that's at Witchy Proof. We're going to have a look at that with the guards van, but we are also including the D3 that's at Seymour and the J-Class that's at Donald in the Lions Club Heritage Train Park. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because I wanted to have these two locomotives included in this series. So yeah, that's what's happening today. If you've already seen my video with the J and my quick overview of the D3 before the Seymour Heritage Center, then if you want to see the K-Class here at Witchy Proof, then feel free to watch. But if you want to stick around because you like the channel, and stick around and let's get into the video. Roll the intro. All right, we are here in Witchy Proof with the K-Class and we are also here looking at the turntable. Now, this turntable is actually restored and is used by Steam Rail Victoria and 707 Operations on their trips when they come down here. So it's looking very good. And behind the turntable are the silos. Pretty cool. I've never stood on a restored and working turntable before. Actually quite a few coal bits uh, on the bottom there because uh, 707 operations with here, but not with R707, with Steam Rail's R761 as 707 had a bit of issues. So they ended up bringing 761 here. So there's a switch there, uh, which will pull the mechanism out here to unlock the turntable. And there's a handle here to help you push the turntable along and turn the locomotive around. And just before it is a locomotive inspection pit. And in the distance there is Witchy Proof Station, which is no longer in use for passenger services. All right, time to see the main attraction. Let's go look at the K-Class and the Z-Class guards van that's hooked up to it. So that is the guards van and there is K-Class. This is locomotive K167. This locomotive definitely needs a bit of love. A lot of rust, the boiler shroud is coming off, holes all here in the uh, shroud for the boiler as well. Yeah, needs a lot of love. Big rust spot under the number plate right there. But let's have a look inside and see what's what. Still a fair bit here. The regulators here as well. That's stuck, that won't move. A little bit of movement there. Oh yeah. A few of these valves are turning. It's pretty cool. Uh, the reverser is missing. Just move either. Yeah, that's your view. This is where the coal would have been. Back of the tender, looking at the guards van. Pretty hectic, I'm standing on the top of the tender. It's very open and nothing's closed off and blocked off so you can have a walk around on top of the locomotive and get a proper feel for seeing a preserved locomotive. But yeah, pretty nice view up here. There's the guards van. It might have been like old toolboxes, it was just storage in there. And obviously this was the lid for the tender to drop the water in, but yeah, sealed shut. All right, now this is the Z-Type guards van. This is a six-wheeled guards van. So three bogies. Just a little glimpse inside. If you can see anything, it's pretty much empty. Yeah. Cool. It's nice that they preserved the guards van along with the locomotive. That's pretty unique. Oh yeah, it's a little gap here to have a look inside. Yeah, just having another walk around the locomotive. Still plenty of rust spots all around it, sadly. Yeah, you can see here, this is where the shroud is coming off. 
The locomotive still has its headlamp. Now let's see if this moves. Ah, perfect. Smooth as well. Yeah, and the knuckle itself is pretty loose as well. That moves great. Not bad. So this K-Class is next to the actual line itself where the train starts to street run through the middle of the witchproof town. That's pretty cool. So if you are one of those freight drivers, you'll probably be going past the K every time you come down this way, or if you are part of 707 and come down here on the trips down to Witchyproof, then you'll pass the K-Class locomotive on your trip. But this poor beast is probably looking at that R going, wish I was in steam. So a bit sad, but good to have them preserved. All right, so that was the K-Class at Witchyproof. So we're gonna talk about the D3 at Seymour. I'm gonna talk about the J that we just saw in the previous video at the Lions Club Heritage Park in Donald. So let's cut and head back to Seymour. Built in 1913, as an original DD class locomotive, number DD659, in 1930, it was converted to the superheated D3 boiler configuration, becoming its now numbered D3684. In 1964, the locomotive was plinth near the Seymour Railway Station, which is close by to the Seymour Railway Heritage Centre. There are steps leading up into the cab so you can get a feel of what it's like to be the driver. Quite a few things were movable in here in the cab of this D3 locomotive, which was pretty cool. As the locomotive is in a park, I'm sure the kids definitely love to come in here and have a play. If you want to see this locomotive, then type in the Black Train on Google Maps, as that's what it's called. It may be called the Black Train now, but not too long ago, it looked a little bit different. This was the original paint scheme when it was plinth here in the park. That's a wrap on the D3. Time to cut back to Donald and have a look at the J-Class. This is J524, plinth in the Lions Club Heritage Train Park in Donald. The locomotive was placed here in 1968. Built by the Vulcan Foundry Limited in Lancashire, England in 1954. This J-Class is a coal burner. With the first order of 50 J-Classes, 25 were coal and 25 were oil burners. That was until the VR opted to sell off 10 of their second generation N-Classes. Sold to South Australian Railways, the VR built 10 more J-Classes, 5 oil and 5 coal, so therefore the fleet of J's would be 60 in total. J524 was in service from 1954 to 1968 and covered 164,559 miles altogether. This locomotive saw service in Taralgon, Geelong, and North Melbourne depots. The Jays also operated out of Donald, hauling goods trains such as wheat, oats, barley, and livestock. The J and all the rolling stock that accompany it are all looked after very well by the Lions Club. Check out my previous video if you want to see me exploring the whole Heritage Train Park. If you liked the video, give us a like, subscribe, and comment below. We will see you in the next video. Take care and peace.